And welcome back. Today I'm going to bring you downtown Catania for a street photography POV video, which I believe is going to be very, very, very interesting for you. Because Catania is a very interesting city. It's, for those who don't know, is in Sicily, Italy. It's a very interesting city. And there's a few areas, especially the fish, the old fish market, that is crazy interesting when it comes to street photography. However, before getting into the POV uh, portion of the video, I want to show you that my camera looks a little bit different from the normal X106. Why is that? Because I'm now using an easy, timeless classic fit, uh, filter kit. What is that? That is a kit that is made of three parts. It's made of this 49 millimeters uh, UV filter that you see over here, you basically, once you remove the uh, front filter on the camera, you can then screw this in and it gets, gets you protection from the water. Now the camera becomes weather sealed and on top of that, the filter is uh, weather waterproof and oil proof. That means water and oil as much as they go away very easily because they don't stick to the to the filter itself. On top of that, you can screw additional filters on this filter itself because it's it's got the thread on the inside. So if you really need a super polarizer, a viable ND, a black uh, promise filter, whatever filter you want to use, you just can use it on top of it. Now I don't have one, so I cannot show you, but trust me, you can definitely put another filter on top of that. Now, when you're using it like this, you can also put the Fujifilm, the original Fujifilm lens cap over here because it's designed in a way that it's made on purpose uh, to match that size. On top of that, this filter doesn't get in the way of your macro shooting. The, uh, the autofocus it's, does not get bothered by the presence of the filter, so thumbs up on that. And this, the kit also includes the lens hood and its front cap. The lens hood is over here and it's made, every, the whole kit is made of metal, super high quality uh, pro product. Honestly, it's hard to convey in video, but it's super high quality. The um, filter itself, the filter, the uh, hood itself, it's made of anti-glare uh, coating on the inside, so it doesn't allow lights get reflected in the lens and protect the lens from flare because the lens is kind of prone to flare, something that I realized using this lens uh, in other times. And so it gets you that pr protection. Also, it doesn't get in the way of rotating the filter that you eventually put in front of the UV filter that is part of the original kit. So very, very, very flexible and very uh, clever solution. On top of that, you also get this front cap that allows you to protect everything uh, w without even thinking about it. Now, of course, this kit, you can see, adds a little bit of size to the camera, but not too much. And I would recommend to use it because, again, the protection against the elements and the protection against the flare gets you that peace of mind that nothing's going to ruin your shooting experience. So for me, huge thumb, thumbs up on that. It comes in two different colors. It comes in uh, black or silver. Mine is silver, of course, because I got the silver uh, version of the camera here. And to me, super, super, super recommended. It's the only thing that I would add to this camera. Also, it's a stylish accessory on a stylish camera. What can go wrong with that? So thumbs up for me. Now let's get to the street photography POV portion of the video. Hello. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 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 Yeah, I'm going
Yeah, whatever's that.
Now, as you could see, I could take, in my opinion, very nice pictures uh, uh, with this with this camera. And the one thing that immediately uh, comes to my mind is the fact that people are way less bothered from a camera like this than they are with a camera like my X-H2S with the 18 millimeters f1.4. I've done a lot of street photography with, with, with that and I know what I'm talking about. So definitely people look at you, they see that you're shooting them, but they're less bothered. You're not stealing their soul. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's the, the, the feedback that I got. People weren't too bothered uh, with my with my with my presence, so uh, really uh, efficient from that standpoint. Uh, the 40 megapixel, uh, many may think that they're not important because cropping uh, it shouldn't be your main thing. And honestly, I'm all for taking the picture uh, right, framing it right while I'm shooting rather than cropping it afterwards. However. There's occasions where you just cannot do it. For example, when I was shooting the uh, the basketball field, if I get if I was gonna get closer to the people shooting, one I was gonna get in the way, two my shadow would have been uh, casting on the floor, on the on the on the playground, ruining the cleaning the cleanliness of the sh of the shoot. So uh, sometimes being able to shoot freely and then crop afterwards just to not to disturb the scene may come in really 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 handy from another focus perspective i still have to get used to it because i'm used to the xh2s and the xh2 the algorithm is the same the processor is the same however the lens focuses a little bit different this one the x 106 is a little bit slower and i believe it needs just one firmware update to clean up a couple of uh, things that that have, that have happened to me. Uh, it, it has focused, while I was using the zone focusing, it has focused a couple of times on the background rather than on the subject, despite indicating me that they, that they had recognized the subject. That is one thing that kind of annoyed me. I missed a couple of shots because of that. And I believe my X-H2S and X-H2 don't do that, or at least I haven't experience that in similar shooting scenarios so there's maybe this is the first version of the camera so it's it makes sense that a few things need still need to be uh, to be addressed via firmware but not a big deal one important thing is that the battery life is way way better than you can expect now yes the battery is small and it's the capacity is what it is but for a, scenario, for a scenario like this, when you're doing street photography, and like I said in my previous video, watch it over here uh, or here, uh, you can optimize the use of your battery. It was in a, it was in a boost, so the, uh, the performance mode was in boost, but I was, uh, as I mentioned already, I turned the stabilizer off and using it only for the shooting just because I don't need... A stabilized image while I'm framing it's wide enough that it doesn't bother me at all that helps a lot with the battery and also while I was moving around without any interesting stuff in uh, that was happening in front of me I would turn the camera off doing a, a motion like this now the camera itself you bring it up shoot it's super simple super quick super easy and it saves you a lot of battery at the end of the day, what was the result? The result was that starting shooting at 11 a.m. and I finished shooting at, what, 5 p.m. I only uh, went through one battery and one bar of the second battery. That's it, for an entire day of shooting. Now, granted, street photography is not a wedding where you shoot hundreds of pictures in a super short time frame. But then again, that's the way the majority of people are going to use this camera. is They're going to use it for uh, family stuff. They're going to use it for street photography. They're going to use it for stuff that is not going to uh, super stress the battery of the camera. So for me, although I would have loved to see to have seen a bigger battery on the, on the camera, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. 
one last thing I shoot a couple of bursts here and there the card slot being UHS-1 didn't bother me at all so all in all the experience was super 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 smooth and I loved it and I'm gonna do it again now let me know if you loved if you liked a video like this I may do more I already did one POV video for with another camera in Marseille last year let me know because if, if you're interested I can I will do more of these videos because I like doing them and I believe there's value to it because you can see how other people shoot and may get some inspiration ideas and all of that guys that's it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye